And I keep that laptop on the road with me. Boy, I shoot me one. You know the vibes. Hey, look, man. I'm a YouTuber now, so I keep that MacBook with me. You know the vibes. I'll shoot me one, get in there, edit it up, and put it right in their timeline. That's what I do now. Mr. Shoot Me a Movie About It. I'm really like that, shorty. Yeah, I feel I like becoming a YouTuber. You mean to tell me I get to vlog my life and make money off of it and touch the world at the same time and hit city to city, state to state, pull up on the realest, shoot one about it, do some networking about it. You know what I'm saying? Do me a willy about it. Do me a donut about it. Talk that yank about it. And they feeling me, man. I'm starting to like who I am. Right? No, no. I like who I am. I'm starting to love who I am. Wait, I love who I am. I'm starting to embrace who I am. Wait a minute. I've been embracing who I am. It's starting to sink in a bit. You heard me? Sugar man on that. Stop acting crazy like y'all don't know who I be before I had to pull up in that duty truck. Shoot me a movie about it. Then pull up, drop it in timeline. Holler with my digital scale that shortly after that shortly. Stop acting crazy. Oh, the vibe. My mama Neil. Big boy duty. After this, we're trying to get it rap. It's true. Believe that. What it do, my people? It's your boy, Sugar Man on that. You're now tuned in to 815 Bike Life Documentary 2. A lot of these guys is real talented, man. They make it look real easy. It's not easy. Yeah, it's dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's dangerous, but it's better than guns. This is what bike life is about right here. You know what I'm saying? This is the moment everybody be waiting for. What's up, YouTube? Another day in the life. With your boy Sugar Man on that. Man, we back, man. Day two on picking up Big Perm. Yesterday, uh, it was some issues where I didn't like my truck um, on, on, the, on the pickup. So I'm coming back today. And uh, from the outside, you know, it looked pretty different today. Uh, is this even my truck? Yeah, it's my truck. Oh, yeah, they got it buffed out and cleaned up today. So pick it up today we're gonna check out the vibes on it today got the truck cleaned up today he could have did the back he could have buffed the back out for me a little bit more man but we're looking at the side on the on the on the body work body work good they buffed the truck out today I don't see what I seen yesterday it looked way better and it's even in the sun getting back right cleaned up you see yesterday they went on and buffed it I guess they hadn't buffed the truck man Back looking good now. That looked way better than it did yesterday. Way better. Way, way better, Jack. Even going around the bumper here. We picking up big perm. It's been a it's been a long time coming, man. Um gotta go put some new tires on big perm too. But the work looked pretty good now. It's pretty smooth, pretty buffed out now. No flaw in the paint, no more. Now this look more like it. This look more like it now. Down the side, that look more like it. Right? Got my light on right there. The dust. I look pretty clean. Yeah, you can tell they buffed this whole side out right here. 
this whole side look pretty clean now. I'm happy with that. I'm cool with that. It's just the whole first, like, you know, you know, they could have detailed the truck up a little better, though. He could have gave me a detailed job on the truck, you know, but, you know, for what I paid. But, you know, they look way better. This look way, way better. these scratches come from but I ain't had no scratches on my truck real talk and I had no scratches on my truck even here somebody done brushed up against my truck or something bro can't go like that bro it's a brand new truck bro with no scratches on my truck bro you know but I hate to fall out with people bro but man this stuff this stuff costs bro and it's just like when you in this line of business you know you gotta be right Gotta be right, dog. Like this right here, you know, in my tailgate. You could have did this on the courtesy, bro. You could have did that on the courtesy, bro. You could have buffed that out for me, bro. Real talk. They cleaned it up, but, you know, for the most part, yeah, they washed them pretty good. Yeah, they washed the truck up today. Let's watch for show. So, I'm going to talk to the owner. It's pretty clean. It's definitely clean today. Besides them scratches that's on my door. Them scratches were on my door. Nah, them were on. But other than that, they did a pretty good job on the body work and getting the truck back together. Other than that, them scratches on the door is, is the only thing that's really concerning me right now. So, um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to talk to the owner, man. I'm going to actually uh, I'm gonna talk to him off camera. And um, I'll just get back to y'all here shortly and see what we came up with. I actually like the job. The job is doing pretty good. So, like I said, size of scratches on the door. Um, so, they're going to try to work my number with him. Respectful as possible. You know, business is business. So, I got to put the business, business sugar man on. You know what I'm saying? I'll get back to y'all shortly and tell y'all what I came up with. But other than that, the, 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 the work job on Big Perm is actually pretty good. You know, um, besides those scratches. And he could have buffed my fender out a little more. So we're going to check on that. And I'll get back with y'all shortly and let y'all know what I come up with with Big Perm, man. It's time to go on tour, y'all. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so look, people, we back. It actually blew a fuse for my... Uh, it blew another fuse? No, he, he ain't put it in yet. He okay. It. Okay. In case it blew again. I don't have the micro fuses. It's a, uh... I don't have the micro fuses. The 15? Yeah, you gotta get a micro fuse. Micro fuse? Okay, yeah. I'll talk about a car store and get one of those. I don't have one. And then that thing... Let me see if there's a spare on there. It blew the fuse, y'all. So... For a fuse. So, so look, man, I just I picked the truck up. The truck look a thousand percent better. Um, I'm out here with my man. She say, uh, well, like I say, it blew the fuse. So first of all, they putting the fuse in for the horn because when they wrecked it, it knocked the horn out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the spare fuses. Okay. Let me see where you putting that in, there, boss. Let me see. Oh, up there in that top corner right there? Okay, cool. Put you in the top corner right below that five. Hit that horn. Hit that horn for me, boss. Okay, we're good. We're good. Cool. Thanks, man. So, I told him yesterday, bro, just the guy I was talking to yesterday, I come back, the truck look 100% better. I'm actually happy with it. You know, I ain't just here to bash nobody on my YouTube, bro. So I don't want you to think that, you know, I had you on camera. Like, I was just telling the owner I'm a YouTuber. And uh, like I said yesterday, I was unhappy with the work. But when I came back today, y'all did straighten it out, buff it out. I'm actually happy with it. And uh, as far as the scratches on the door, he told me to come back Monday. All you got to do is get pick it up and slam it. He told me to come back because these scratches right here wasn't on there. 
Yeah, right here, that scratch right here, that right there, all this right here, from whatever, whatever that was, all this right here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all that came, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, we could, you know, he told me to bring it back Monday, though. So, you know, he told me to bring it back Monday. And then, like I said, when I do come back, if I got to give y'all some extra, bro, to get this off my tailgate, I will, bro. Hey, man, I buffed the, the shit out of that thing. So, what, it got to be wet sanded? It's going to be better just to repaint it. That needs to be repainted? Because yeah, I couldn't get it off. You can scrape it off, yeah, though. See where it's still leaving it chalky? Yeah, that's a scrub. You can wet sand that, bro. Look, it's, it's blue. Yeah, it is blue. It's, 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 it's hey, a tarp. That's why I said it might have to be wet sanded. I mean, y'all the paint shop, bro. That's why I say all it got to do is be wet sanded, bro. It's a thick coat. Look, I'm scratching it off. It's blue. It's nothing but a tarp. I have my four-wheeler on the back, and I got a chrome and gold on my four-wheeler, so I didn't want the, the rain to get on it, so I put a tarp on it, and the tarp hung off and this, so it probably just need a wet sand and butt, a wet sand on it. Either way it go, I ain't looking. I'll pay for that, you know what I'm saying, or whatever the case may be, but... I know that just need a wet sand on it. I ain't no way I'm painting that. That just need a good wet sand. You can use some, some slight grid paper, bro, and get that off of there. You feel me? So when I come back to get that done, I let y'all, you know what I'm saying? You Wet sand, right? Yeah. Yeah, do some wet sand on there, bro. And just get that off for me. And like I say, I'll pay for whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We'll get it off. All right, bro. Thanks, man. Yep, no problem. Thank All right, boss. So, yeah, he got that good. I'm going to come back and let him get that off with that tarp. And no way I'm repainting that. No way. But uh, other than that, we got all this. I actually need to cut the lights on to really see if these lights are all working. My tail lights, my signal lights and stuff. My horn had blue. But he said it might be a raw wire. Let me just cut my lights on. Let me see. Okay, there go to one light on. That light on, lights. All three of them lights working now. Truck light, brake, other light, other light. All right, let's see what the headlights look like, Jack. Let's cut the headlights on, we got that light. Okay, let's cut the brights. Cut the bright sun right here. Let's see. Okay. Headlights working. Let's make sure them running lights working, Jack. Got to make sure I'm right when you're out there, bro. You got to have it together, shorty. Let's make sure them running lights pop on. Well, I was looking for a dually for six months, boy. Okay, hold on. Duty lights not even coming on. The running lights hang. Uh oh. Oh, they might not come on with the brights. Yeah, they didn't even hook the running lights back up. Uh, the running light's not hooked up. They took the bumper off. They got a running light. The thing not even coming on on there. Yeah, the running light's not even coming on, period. Turn signal's working. Turn signal's working. Let's see if my lamp working. My lamp light working. Your lamp light's working. Ah, man. Yeah, the lamp lights not coming on at all. I'm the running lights right here. Yep, running lights not even coming on. So. 
Hey, boss man, the running lights, they didn't hook the running lights back up on the uh, bumper neither. Oh, the running lights not coming on. The headlights are working. The headlights are for sure not working. Like I told him, man, I'm not I'm not here to bash no shop or none of that. You know, I know a lot of people don't know who I am. I didn't come in the shop and, you know, um, I didn't come in flexing my muscle. That's not how I present myself in this world. If I'm a, I present myself as a customer, not a YouTuber, not this, not that. Because like I said, I'm not here to advertise for free for nobody. And I'm also not here to bash nobody business. I don't do negativity on my channel. I'm not that, but at the same time, I got PC. I did business with 815 Motor. I did, uh, I got a new paint shop in Dallas I'm working with, with Lil Digi Scale. This another paint shop. I know a paint shop in Memphis. <laughs> my uncle got a paint shop in Cali. Like, bro, I know paint shops and places all over the place, so I'm not coming to no shop because I can't go to nobody else. If I'm going to the shop, it's because that's what I want to go to the shop for. Not because, you know what I'm saying, I need this shop or this or that. And, and, and best believe, I'm not coming in arguing with no prices. Because when you argue with prices, you get argued with prices work. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, but, I, but I'm, I'm not going to bite my tongue. I'm not going to hold my breath. You know what I'm saying? Hey, boss. Also, the uh, the running lights, the running lights are not hooked up either. I don't know if that's a fuse or the running lights at the bottom down here. Is that a fuse? Because I've been hitting the button on the dashboard too, and they're not even coming on. So I'm trying to figure out if they hook back up or or is it a fuse like the horn? But yeah, you know. So like I gotta say. Uh, but it's all good. My man's, uh, you know, they they uh, they getting me back together. You know, we, we, we I guess we building a relationship. And that's the whole part about moving out of town. That kind of like not bothers well bothers me. It's the point where you building all new relationships, with all new shops, letting people, you know. But everybody ain't PC. Everybody ain't Sammy Tire. Everybody ain't. Kill them all, custom lift shop. Everybody ain't uh my boy uh, uh R and D motors on the race, and everybody ain't them. And, you know, at the same time, who am I? I'm a nobody to some people, or 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 I'm just a YouTuber, or I'm just a or I'm just a you know what I'm saying, whatever. But you know, that's the thing about building bonds and building relationships. It's just like a new girl. You get with a new girl, y'all might have to fall out a couple times for y'all to even really get to learn each other. But at the same time, you know. Relationship is relationship, business is business. It's that bottom one, bro. Huh? Yes, sir. Yep, it's that one right there. You would see a light pop on on the dashboard. And one not popping on. Yep, I done tried it already. And it's supposed to come on with the brights, without the brights and everything. So I don't know if that's a fuse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I call them running lights, but fog lights all the same. Do you think it's a fuse or was it unplugged and just not plugged back up? That's what I was thinking. It probably is a fuse because when they blew that horn, it probably blew that. You ain't got no tester with you. See what else it blew. You know what I'm saying? I wonder if it blew my cigarette like my, uh. And Right. No, the charger working. This charger working because it got my flashlight on there. It's working. So well, that's working. This port working. So. The backlight working, all that's working. The uh, running lights. I wanted some probably touched and. Yeah, they could have 
Okay. No, I was. I had the running lights. That was all running. The the running lights was, but the horn wasn't. But the running lights was definitely working. I never had a problem with the running lights at all. Yeah. So yeah, we picking up big pine right now, man. Uh, just going through the little motion, trying to get the truck right. No, actually getting to know my boy up here, at performance painting body. You know. I'm gonna go get these West End and the Buff. I'm gonna talk to him when I come back and get the rest of the other stuff done. I'll try to get him the West End and buff this stuff out for me right here, man. Like I say, I pay extra, bro. I ain't tripping on that. You know, I wish you to just offer the service to me, man, to get me back right. You know, that's what I'm used to. When I go to shops, man, I usually just, when I go to a shop, another shop, do they work, but they also look at the other stuff and say, hey, man, I looked at this wrong, I looked at this wrong, I looked at this wrong. Do you wanna, do you want me to fix this? or not if so this is what i charge boom bada bam and i may be like yeah or i may be like nay like this is what shop i'm used to dealing with but i understand it's all a part of move to a different part of the country now i'm dealing with different shops i'm building different relationships this is the second paint shop i'm in the digi scale at another shop this is another shop so i got different shops you know what i'm saying when i went to the digi scale there was a whole bunch of old schools in there so i'm like you know what he doing old schools i know he know what it takes when I went to this guy's shop, he got semis and a whole lot of insurance jobs and new jobs. So I know what this takes. You know what I'm saying? That's the uh, running light fuse. What it's looking like? It's blue too? It's looking good? So that must mean it ain't hooked up in there or something. It's up. Huh? I said it's hooked up. Yeah, I'm plugging it back here. I don't have a Yeah, so, you know, like I say, uh, yeah, man, it's just all about building new bonds and new relationships. And we got an, another video coming with Lil DJ Skill, too. Uh, we got to go check on Lil DJ Skill. We got to go get a carburetor from Real, take the carburetor from Real to the paint shop. So they got to adjust the carburetor so it can start up and on and off. And then they can move the car around while it's there on top of it should be a primer by the time I do the next video, but we got some more. We got a whole lot of other stuff going on. We got to go see Box Chevy King to refurbish this chrome. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got to see Box Chevy King to refurbish the chrome on the bar, a little digi scale. He going to help me with that, get all my lights and stuff. And then uh, we're going to come back to the paint shop and drop that back off. But we still got some more tours. I got to go see my boy Delphine's son in Atlanta. Let him polish the banshee back up. It's been a while since we polished the bench. Y'all done left from him. When it got the motor redid, it set in the shop, got all type of oil and stuff on it. So we gotta go see him afterward. Not a bench, about right as I wanted to be. How we looking? You just He unconnected and plugged it back up. Nothing, still getting nothing. Headlights working, but the, the the running lights ain't. So, um, but yeah, so we gotta do that with Delphine, son. The Bumblebee Bench, you haven't brought that one back to the channel yet. That's in Atlanta. I'm gonna get some footage with him and T-Rex Jr. when I get back down there. And I'm gonna also go to my boy, LS, I think it's called LS Swaps or LSA Swaps in Atlanta. I'm gonna let him put the bigger fuse and wiring on my car since I got the bigger fans. So I'm gonna bring y'all some footage with that in Atlanta here shortly. You know what I'm saying? You know, just bringing a lot of content to the channel, a lot of different cars, a lot of different states. And I'm networking with new people. So we are gonna be going through some trials and tribulations or maybe not, you know what I'm saying? Uh, city to city, state to state. And uh, if y'all haven't already, man, I, I want y'all to hit like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate y'all, all 36,000 plus. That's right, it's up gonna pop a bottle. I just hit 36,000 subscribers on YouTube, you heard me? I appreciate each and every one of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I wanna thank y'all, man, for following me. Uh, drop the digi scale in the comments or drop the highway emoji in the comments. 
if you rocking with me, man. And when you see me, if it's like that, holla with my DJ scale that. You know the vibe, you heard me? You heard what Master B say. Who the who? That's the code for the killer. For me, holla with my DJ scale that. You know the vibes, you heard me? One of them, sure. It's really like that on my hand. I measure my food when I'm in the gym trying to lose some weight, you heard me? The whole time different, shorty. My mama knew. But uh, definitely hit like and subscribe for those who are on the channel right now, man. Um, we're just trying to get it together, man. Did you get, I mean, uh, Big Perm, man. It's Big Perm, Jack. Perm right. Any luck, boss? Let's see him above that object. Like I told him, I was trying to get him to fix this little den right here, man. I don't know. It's all good. I get it. I get it fixed. Spray up in there. Yeah, man. And I keep that laptop on the road with me, boy. I shoot me one. You know the vibes. Hey, look, man. I'm a YouTuber now, so I keep that MacBook with me. You know the vibes. I shoot me one, get in there, edit it up, and put it right in their timeline. That's what I do now. Mr. Shoot Me a Movie About It. I'm really like that, shorty. Yeah, I feel I like becoming a YouTuber. You mean to tell me I get to vlog my life and make money off of it? And touch the world at the same time. And hit city to city, state to state, pull up on the realest. Shoot one about it. Do some networking about it. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, do me a willy about it. Do me a donut about it. Talk that yank about it. And they feeling me? Man, stop. I'm starting to like who I am, right? No, no, no. I like who I am. I'm starting to love who I am. Wait, I love who I am. I'm starting to embrace who I am. Wait a minute. I've been embracing who I am. It's starting to sink in a bit. You heard me? Sugar man on that. Stop acting crazy like y'all don't know who I be before I had to pull up in that dude truck. Shoot me a movie about it. Then pull up, drop the in timeline. Holler with my dick scale that shortly after that shortly. Stop acting crazy. Oh, the vibe. My mama and them. Big boy duty. After this, we're trying to get it wrapped. It's true. Believe that. All right, so look, man. We back up in Big Perm. Uh, I got a smile on my face. It's been a long, it's been a long two weeks, man. Uh, a lot of back and forth. Long two weeks with getting Big Perm back on the road. You heard me? We got Big Perm back up here. Y'all see the bank account, shorty? I got 23 set up in that chat, shorty. Woo! Bank roll, shout. I'm talking about shout. But uh, that's another story. Uh, Big Perm back right. Oh, so you guys, we was hitting the wrong. I thought this was the bright light right here. That's not the bright light. I don't know what that's for. Uh, this is the running light right here. <laughs> so we was hitting the wrong button the whole time, so. Hold on. We was hitting the running light the whole time. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the running lights is actually working. Uh, we were sitting there checking all the fuses and doing all of that. Oh, man. Hold on. Sitting there doing the running lights. All of those fuses and stuff. Let's see. Well, we checked all the fuses and everything. So the running lights is actually working. So we got that back working, man. And uh, the truck, like I say, man, they did a good job up there, man. The, the finish just wasn't finished yesterday. And um, like I say, they just had to go back over, buff it out, I guess, or do whatever. And, um, it's, 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 the, the job was done good. I feel like he could have done better. 
But I felt like he felt like, I, I mean, I don't know what he felt like, because honestly, at the end of the day, if you ask for a certain price and somebody, you ask for a certain price and um, somebody give you a certain price, I don't see where the argument is at when I come back as if I didn't do this or do that. On top of, I was mad at the fact that, you know, when you finish a job, you're supposed to finish a job. When I go to PC and PC do my car, but once again, that's PC. I got a relationship built with PC, vice versa, meeting somebody. Who is this guy, new guy? I'm gonna do what he told me to do. I'm gonna paint the fender, I'm gonna paint the back part, and that's dead on that. But at the same time, like I say, man, you can argue it a lot. He finished it, he fixed it, so I'm gonna leave that and let that be. But it just, it kind of ruined my day yesterday as it would anybody, but I come back today, I had to kind of tell him who I am, and you know what I'm saying, the power I possess, the platform that I got, and I'm not on none of that, but at the same time, bro, I do this, boom, he fixed me up, he got me the good, next week I come back for the touch-up, when I come back for the touch-up, I'm gonna get, <laughs> I gotta get the other little stuff fixed too, like, uh, I gotta get a buff job on the truck, man. And the wet sand and buff on the back. That's, that ain't nothing but a wet sand, a little light wet sand, bro. And then over here, it's uh, basically that little stuff need to be wet sanded off. Excuse me, but I think that spit then got hard on the truck. And uh, this is, I don't know what this is, but once again, you can wet sand that out of there too. But So when I go back, I'm gonna have them to yeah, this right here, I think Nick's, but I'm having to touch that up too. Man, dude, just do the truck, bro. I ain't tripping about spending no money with you, dog. I ain't petty in, I'm a somebody, you know what I mean? So, I guess that's another relationship that I done built with a shop. I done locked in with him on the, on the building. Now he know who I am, what I like. Boom. So, I guess it's all about learning each other, man. That's the part of networking that a lot of people either don't want to go through or go through it the total wrong way. If I'd have came up there talking crazy, doing this, doing that, it probably would have went another way. He'd have called the police, told me to get out of there. I got to call these people, this and that, and that job ain't worth taking them back to court for. So just by talking to a person, you know, you get stuff worked out. So there it is, man. Big perm, big worm. Um, actually, what we got on the inside right here? We actually got fans. That's right. My boy Delphine's son that's going to uh, do my four-wheeler, he um, he building a box Chevy, and he's going to put an LS motor in it. So I'm going to get him the old fans off of T-Rex, and uh, we're going to rock it like that. I need some stuff from him. He needs some stuff from me. He do polishing real good on them four-wheelers. He nice with them four-wheelers. So uh, we're going to take them to him. We'll be pulling up on him probably tomorrow. That'll probably be in the next video. Um, but we do got to go get the trailer because we gotta get a tire on a trailer too. So before we go get T-Rex, we gotta go get T-Rex and T-Rex Jr. So for everybody that's watching, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment, hit that bell, um, support me. Like I said, we picked T-Rex up today and um, it's a whole vibe on the channel, man. Rewind it back to 05, a schoolboy on the rise. Keisha like a B12, man, all way up for his eye. With it ain't gon' tell now. Air third period, I kick it down. Dirty ass gym clothes and socks, they kept the smell down. 1215, that bell sound, I sold it by the lunch house. Niggas wanna tell now, I'm lit, they got a potty mouth. Expelled out of school, my mama told me I'm a dumbass. Mama got a hand mask, the other class ain't seen that. I'm lit, I'm in these streets now. Don't worry about me, ma, I'm G now. This who I be, I get it for the G, ma. I cop me a box Chevy, 2 door 1978. 24s, Lambo Doze, 18 years old, I was straight. Research me if you think I'm lying. Jolly at that 815, 358 North Broadway, Evergreen Terrace, I was right outside. Trenches, I remember nice. Red and blue, I seen them like. Bowls on me, pole on me, it's a high speed chase tonight. Do it for that U.S. currency, we in it currently. Do it for the ones that hate on you, can't stand to see you eat. Certified and got that stamp on you, and you a lamp on it. Click out and go put that shit on, I can't wait to shit on them. Do it for that 
U.S. currency, we in it currently Do it for the ones that hate on you Can't stand to see you eat Certified and got that stamp on you And you a lamp on it Click out and go put that shit on I can't wait to shit on them 28, 56, 112, 224 448, my lucky numbers Came up selling bows Have you ever vacuum sealed them bows And sent them on their way? Cut them open when you got home And half of was full of shake Read up again, check them out like nigga Not again All right, man so today we're gonna do the cold start on the cut dog. Uh, yesterday we actually left. We left the keys, man. So today we're gonna do the cold start on. It. We should add gas. Sit in the carburetor because yesterday I put gas in the car when I didn't even uh, start it up. So today we're gonna get the cold start jumping. This is crazy. Yep. Don't look like we got no votes. So, she's not even turning the day at all. Yep. So, the battery done drained again. You ain't never ran it, how you gambling with your last I left the battery lights like on. Speed limit off ah, the I'm checking it when I get door like so. Paranoid pace and flow, looking out the beat. Five back in the field, running. Everybody bagging up. Rusty white, triple depth, my allergies. He back in the field. Then I got the side of the season over. No deep, everybody price rising. Well, we're gonna take big karma jump off today. Do what the fuck you want to do. I wonder why she died like that. Do it for the you as currency. We in it currently. Do it for the ones that hate on you. Oh Can't stand the CAE. All right. We got one. Got it hooked up. We're getting fired. Do it for the ones that hate on you. Can't stand the CAE. Headlights on, light and bright. So let's see if we can um, get baby cranked up. So we get the dashboard on. So we get the dashboard on. We still gotta go back to that shop and get the dash. This uh, headlight switch, man. He got that loose. It's crazy, boy. It's always something. Got a Michael Jackson. Pack that joker just to get the jump started up. It's crazy. We had the doors on. I wonder if the doors is on all the time, but then the dashboard light won't even come on, Jack. It's crazy, bro. Switch loose now. We need the switch to come on. It's crazy. Windows down. Yes. Let that drip down in the carburetor. Yeah, I know it's dangerous, people, but in the meantime, we gotta do what we gotta do. Let that drip down in there. Now we got one chance because we ain't got no more gas. But we gotta pat pat fire up. Pat, pat, fire up. Pat, pat. Come on, come on, baby. Don't do that to me. Don't do me like that. Come on, baby. Man. How we go? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. On the Michael Jackson side with it. On the Pat, Pat act. No more gas. That's crazy, crazy. That's over there. They got me on a Pat Pat version of it. All right, man, check it out. We back in it, right? Nothing to hide from God won't start up. 
I ain't got no gas in the storage at the moment. Um, I gotta go get some gas and come back and start it up. I was trying to do a cold start on it, and I always been going back for it. Every time I uh, let a week go by, I go and start my car up just to see if I'm having that battery drain issue. And it's been starting up for so long. But this time, it was completely dead. And um, I'm kind of wondering, um, was it the switch? But the, the light in the doors on that didn't come on until I turned the key. So I'm trying to figure out why I was so dead. But uh, I'm gonna start it up and we'll go back and get some gas on a carburetor and start it up. And uh, just check it out. Uh, kind of, you know, ruffle my feathers with that whole truck ordeal. So now, now, now my car won't start. That, you know, you know how stuff be, man, when you're a day bad. I just like the light switch, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been in this truck in a minute though anyway, so I'm running like I forgot where the switch was. Um, just having a little ruffle day, man. Just kind of threw my schedule off. I had somewhere to kind of be today. So yeah, you know, one day because a person want to play games, you know what I'm saying? I hold they, they part of or like they don't understand. A lot, and, and, and this is a lot of people, man. My family do me the same way. Like, people don't know what I really got in my bank account or my pocket. And really, truthfully be told, honestly, it ain't their business. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to tell you how much money I got for you to love me, respect me, or respect our deal and what we got going. That's not how not how that works so um just being just being real with you man um that kind of threw my day off i was out of town somewhere else dropped the rental off which i'm already a week late get my truck and i'm gone now i'm a day behind it just don't sit right with me i know i'm dwelling kind of on the past but man bro you know and how you like that How you like that? Uh, because you know, man, you expect people to be real all over the world, man. And, and now, the more fame, the more fame I get, the more money I get, dog. I really gotta treat myself like a celebrity. Like I don't think I'm better than people. I don't think I'm just. I don't think I'm the same as people. I don't think I'm better than people. But the more money and I get, the more fame I get. I gotta start treating people like that, man. Because celebrity status, because. You know, it's just like people play games, bro. I swear, people play games, man. You know, and, and, and family, businesses, friends, people play, dog, when it comes to business, bro. And, and at the end of the day, I don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just be having to separate myself from that, man. It's a lot of family that I don't go around because of the simple fact people like to play. And then they want to mix love and friend and friendship in it, man. I don't give a F. UCK about no love, no friendship, or no family, and that's just real. And at the end of the day, when it comes to business, it'll have you feeling like that. No, I'm not telling everybody to turn on your family or, or this and this and this and that, but I'm just telling you, you gotta separate your business from the three, friendship, love, and friends, and family. Friendship, friends, friendship, friends, family, love. You gotta separate yourself from the four, yo. Especially when you when it comes to business and stuff like that, man. It's just like I've been going through a lot of that lately, and I'm sick of it. Like real talk, I ain't doing nothing. Anymore. But and that's why they say it get lonely at the top. And it's lonely in the middle because I ain't even at the top. I'm in the middle. But at the same time, it's lonely in the middle because you find yourself putting distance between people you love, people you like, people you care about. You know, you find yourself putting distance between people because people like to play games and don't want to respect what you got going. And, and people don't understand. They on the outside looking in, thinking that it's something that it is or something that it ain't, man. Like I said on one of my last videos, I could go around Jay-Z. You could put me around Jay-Z. I'm not, even though it says net worth a billion, he might not have a billion. That may be money he got invested. You know, he might only have whatever, whatever he had his name. Once again, that's not my business, bro. I'm here to play my part, get my issue, see how I can contribute to this thing we call, and and and, and get on down, Jack. Like, man, bro. So I'm a little ruffled today, man, but 
man, y'all out there need to stop playing games, man, all around the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I put a lot of distance between a lot of people for this certain reason. So, and you know, I always say this, man, to people. Do me a favor, don't do me no favors. You feel me? I don't want no favors. If I come to somebody, I'm coming to somebody on business. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want no more than what you said you're going to give me. And I ain't give you no more than what I said I'm going to give you, dog. So, I ain't like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Um, and I'm going to get up out of here. It's Sugar Man on that, man. Till the next video, man. Y'all hold it down. Stay tuned. Gang. Ain't no load I can't deliver. I'll pull up in that dually truck. Old school cop it booted up. Hit the E-way, do a buck. Chemist in a minute, in a trench. I go to sue in up. Talk your shit, I'm talking it. Talk your shit, I'm talking it. Cock your block already did. He had to switch that nigga. Every day they can't ride my way. Filling up the set, they can't ride my way. $20 for the T, 200 for my J. But that jewelry on my T, it cost me 60K. Two day run on the road, it felt like 60 days. Soon as I got off that bitch, we ran up 60 ways. Instantly the prices drop my chair, you know what's up with me. Hating niggas trying to shop, you know you don't fuck with me. Pull up, I take up two spots. That's us in front of the club. We how you not, you trash. That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Orgies on it, candy on it. I love Sugar man. It's long overdue, nigga. It's yours truly, the big homie, baby. Tapping all the way in. We talking that yank, Nick. Gillette, Illinois, to the motherfucking world. Yeah. Now one bike life. Chicago was popping, nigga. Let's get it. A lot of y'all been hitting me up. Wanna know how I've been doing lately? Hey, sugar man, we going down through that, nigga. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with him, nigga. Big box Chevy rider, nigga. Skrrr! A lot of y'all been hitting me up. Wanna know how I've been doing lately?